Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Sabbath heat gloves. Now, where I live right now, it really hasn't started getting cold yet. It's gotten a little bit chilly. Um, but I'm trying to do videos for products that can be used in the winter um, ahead of time so that you can go ahead and purchase them before it gets cold and before you go on any adventures or anything like that. Um, so, what I want to do so I'm going to read off of the box a lot of the features that this has and so that you will understand why I think these are going to be amazing. Then I'm going to take them out of the box, show you what they look like and what you can do with them. Alright, so these are battery heated gloves using carbon nanotubes. Um, it has two 3000 milliamp uh, lithium batteries, uh, four heat settings made from goat skin leather, uh, splash proof design, and uh, screen touch design so you can still use your phone which for me I have to use a tablet on my phone for my new job um, and so this will be good as I'm walking around that I can still use my devices pretty easily um, here's the side of the box I'll let y'all go ahead and see that sorry about the reflection from the light I was going to film outside again uh, but of course I don't know if you've been able to hear it but of course all people are cranking up their lawn equipment <laughs> so yay me um, they do have a size chart on Amazon. I got the large. These fit perfect for me. Um, heats up in three seconds. Advanced heating of the whole piece. And of course the goatskin leather. But let's take a look at what you get inside the box. That's it. So you're going to get your user manual. Obviously you will need to read this a little bit. Um, although most of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. So I wouldn't think you need to do too much. Uh, you do get this nice mesh bag so it can be used to carry your gloves around when you're traveling somewhere or other pieces of gear. And like this just could be a good like an ultralight stuff sack for some other items if you want to replace it. You do get your charger. It has two plugs so you can charge uh, both batteries simultaneously. These are what the gloves look like up close. They are attached together, so that's always a good thing to have that kind of connecting point so you can attach your gloves to your gear, your belt, or, you know, belt loop or something like that, so that way you don't lose them. Um, here's what they look like on this side. Now, for the batteries themselves, oh, you do have an adjustable Velcro uh, for your wrists. Obviously, this is going to come and cover uh, your wrists, so that's always really nice. Um, keeps you a little bit more warm but what you'll see on the inside hopefully sorry if I look a bit shaky I have had a pretty bad stomach bug for the past week so I haven't really been able to eat much like real solid food so uh, I think I'm on the downside of it now so it's starting to get a little bit better um, you have a little zippered pouch right here let me open this up now yes I have opened these up previously I went ahead and charged the batteries they are connected like this but it disconnects like that. There's going to be your charging port when you go to charge them. It takes about four to five hours to charge them to get, or to fully charge them if they're completely dead. But you just put it back in, plug it, zip it, and you are good to go. Right here is going to be your power button and your button to change the heat settings. So you got a lot of coverage right here, so if you're wearing a jacket, which if you're wearing gloves like this, you better be wearing a jacket <laughs> or you look really kind of silly. Um, but, you know, it got good coverage from blocking wind and potentially rain or snow getting into your jacket sleeves, so I really like that. These fit perfectly for the size that I needed, and you're literally just going to use this button to hold down. Maybe I need to read a minute. Okay. So this way, you see, now it's on. And I can already feel it heating up. And it's going to heat up on the back of your hand, which is, to me, the best way to go anyway, just thinking about it, because this is where it's going to be coming in contact with all the wind. It's coming usually from the top of your hand. Um, so what, the way I foresee these, since it's not warm enough to, or warm enough, cold enough to start wearing these, uh, I don't need my old man glasses on for this part, uh, then you can just hold it down again, but you can click, switch your heat settings just by tapping the button and then hold it down to turn it off right so very easy to use very intuitive I do like that 
Um, the batteries do give them a little bit of weight, but uh, once winter really hits and I really have to wear gloves, I'll give you the full review of how these hold up and how they work. But from my initial inspection and using of them, you know, just testing it out here around the house, I really think it's going to be a good idea, but definitely stay tuned for the full review once it gets cold enough that I could actually really wear these. Um, yeah, I mean, guys, it's going to be cool because here's one thing, like, just one thing to understand about insulation in general when you're in the outdoors, right? If you're already cold when you're putting something on, yes, you may eventually get warm wearing that thing, like, especially if your hands are already freezing cold and you put them in gloves. They may warm up, they may not, but because insulation, typically what it's going to do is just maintain the temperature that it's already in there. So this is a good way that if your hands were already cold, you can put them into heated, warm gloves and they're gonna stay that way, right? Because it's gonna keep supplying that, but also insulating in that heat. Um, so yeah, I think this is gonna be awesome. I mean, it may be one of those where you can just turn it on for a little bit just to heat them up and then you can continue to wear them without being powered on for a while just because you've got enough heat trapped in there or may have to run the whole time. I don't know. If you're into skiing, outdoor sports at all of any kind, like you me, hiking, backpacking, um, I've skied twice in my life. Not really saying I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> like it was not very good. Um, but being warm is good for everybody, right? Like this is definitely good for outdoorsmen and for outdoor sports for sure, but also just for those that just don't like to get cold like me, you know. Obviously, I'm gonna take these camping and hiking and backpacking in the winter when I go, um, because once again, if you know me personally, you know I hate getting cold. So, so I have actually been progressing and buying better and better winter gear so I can enjoy the outdoors more when it's cold, because I will be comfortable and not miserable. I know a lot of people hate the heat. I'm the exact opposite. I thrive in heat, I love it. Cold, not so much. So this is something that should be right up my alley. And I just wanted to bring you all along. Once again, we'll give you a quick look around. You do have your adjustable uh, shock cord right here to even tighten this down around your wrist. But these are really good. I mean, the stitching is outstanding. Uh, they feel really good. They feel really good on. There is a size chart, like I said, I think on Amazon so that you can figure out what size you need. Um, I would definitely use that because they're going to have you measure your hands and the different lengths of fingers and width of your hand are going to determine how to buy accurately for what you need. Um, I love the fact that it also comes with this bag so this way I could attach it to a pack on the outside if I needed to or you know just protects them and gives you a way to carry them around when traveling or doing whatever. But yeah I mean really good looking gloves. Obviously only more use is going to tell about how durable they are and stuff like that But I just wanted to make you all aware that these are out there and I think they're going to be great um, So this way you can kind of get ahead of the weather and have the good cold weather gear you need Before you need it. All right <laughs> All right guys, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions if you want to go ahead and get them I'm gonna go leave a Amazon link down in the description below if you want to wait till the full review you can, but more than likely, since I live here in the southeastern United States, that's going to be a while and you might miss winter. <laughs> so, here we go. In the meantime, guys, I like them. I think they're going to be great. Like I said, this is not a review just yet. It's just an overlooking, identifying the features and letting you know so that you could potentially go ahead and purchase before you're actually going to need them and you'll have them ready to go. All right, guys. In the meantime, be prepared. Have fun.